Hey, this is Matthew. And this is Andrea. And welcome back to Nerd News Today. And once again, Andrea has her eyes closed, because that's the thing we do on this channel now. We just surprise her with various objects and hope that she doesn't scream much at them. I thought you liked when I scream. I do. Okay. That's for another video. So today, we are continuing our look at the best of the Muppets figures. We looked at some of them Yay. last time, and Andrea loved them. I love them. They're amazing. And that was a big surprise for you. We're going to do that again today, although this time you know it's Muppets again. I just don't know who. Exactly. So uh, why don't you go ahead and open your eyes. <gasps> <laughs> so I was telling you off camera that I think this is a better series than series one. And uh, I think you might be agreeing now. Yeah? Sure. Yeah? Okay. I guess yes. <laughs> I'm so fucking heavy. Um, so we got series two here. And yeah, these are the characters who I really wanted. Yep. 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 Oh, so we've got... Oh my god. Yeah. I think she likes them. So I got Bunsen and Beaker. We've got Statler and Waldorf. And we got this Swedish chat. I can't say. And, we <laughs> and we've got the Swedish chef. So yeah, let's talk about this packaging real quickly because it's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. It's a really big window display. Uh, we've got windows on each side as well, plus the always handy diamond sight sunroof with all these muppety eyes on the top. Which is just so creepy and cool. really is and creepy. perfectly muppy. Yeah, very muppety. muppety. And the back of the box just runs down who's on them, which is basically who you're seeing here. That's, that's pretty much what's on there. Uh, no artist credits, nothing like that. And what's really cool is you get to see how many accessories are in there, which I didn't know about. I didn't realize how many accessories were in these Muppet toys. I know. And they're amazing. Like, that's oh, the best part about these toys is the accessories. Especially, I cannot wait to get Swedish Chef out of there. Oh, my gosh. That's going to be so I cool. I want those accessories. I have wanted the their box seat for so long. Well, we're about to have it. So. Oh, my God. I was so excited to get yeah, over this. Let's go ahead and open these. And, uh, yeah, let's take a closer look at them. And you're not even wasting any time. Nope. All right. We're going to go open this. We'll see you in a minute. Yep. You're right back. We're back. We're back, and we got some Muppets to look at, so let's go ahead and jump right in with Beaker and Bunsen. Me, me. Exactly. Me, 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 me. Precisely. Me, me, me. Is this how we're going to do the me, whole me, review? Me, me, me. Yeah, okay, me, I guess we are. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. <laughs> okay, I'll be good now. The so normal thing about these toys is the accessories. Like, you know, as much as we want to talk about them, i got to talk about these accessories first, because these are beautiful, and they're in scale with other toys, too, which is what's amazing about them. Well, we'll show you that in a little yeah. bit. We got an order and pestle that actually has stuff in it. There's a chemical reaction happening. It's like such cool lab stuff. And of course, a nice table, which is great too. But let's take this out of the way for a second just to show you the figures. And yeah, he's got a clipboard in his hands too. Look at Beaker. Bunsen has like, the, he has the schematics for an, ex it says experiment. <laughs> Um, I don't know which kind. Oh, he's doing an automatic waste ba basket. And just so you guys can see, I brought back Scooter from Series 1. Because with Scooter, we talked about how his glasses were taped on. You can see that there. Or they're, rather, you know, they've got the elastic around them. Uh, in this case, we don't have that because his are just glued onto his head. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that, that, I actually think that was a, that's an improvement. I mean, they look a little crooked, but better that than to accidentally lose them because you don't want a glassesless and eyeless figure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because he is eyeless. And, yeah. yeah, these are so cool. Again. I mean, look at, look at Beaker. Look at Beaker. Beaker is just... It's really cool because Beaker is a slightly different texture than Bunsen because Bunsen's much smoother and Beaker feels almost a little bit more almost like almost like the felt but it, it's just he's so cute he looks so horrified <laughs> but it's the perfect face oh, they, they look so perfect dr honeydew bunsen and his assistant beaker yes me 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 me. i really? will say off the bat uh, articulation on these guys is same as you saw last time but for some yeah. reason our batch those joints are just very stiff i don't know if you guys heard that one just snap into place um so i would recommend and i do this with all diamond figures but especially with the muppets yeah heat them up Definitely heat up the figures first, because otherwise, uh, you know, they've got much smaller joints than the normal diamond figures do. So there's a higher likelihood you could actually snap and break something if you don't heat them up. So we're not doing that today just because it didn't work out timing wise. And then on a slightly different thing, I also want to say that these are pretty darn perfect, but they've given extra hands in a few of the in few of the kits. I kind of wish they had given um, Beaker some extra hair go higher up oh that's true yeah you yeah, know for when for, for when he has his um explosion moments or a different head with with that yeah unfortunately the head doesn't go up and down no that and that's fun, okay yeah <laughs> that would have been impossible. I, I would have loved for them to have just have like a different a changeable hair he's really creepy just looking like this isn't he i know he's just like, like yeah let's let's bring on someone else shall we let's put these off to the side okay right off the bat i'm gonna tell you since we have to um store these properly i didn't fully connect it but check this out 
it's Stellar and Waldorf, and they're they, they're in their box seat. That's so cool. The box seat alone is worth the price of this yes. toy. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, friggin' lutely. But the and, figures are great, and these chairs are. Uh, yeah, they come with come their own chairs. Right? Yeah, the chairs are separate. They come out. Oh my god, they're so good. <laughs> these these are so perfect. Look at that butt chin. So I think uh, he was actually meant to be like Art Carney, and mm. that was meant to be Jack Lemmon. I'd believe it. I think that was the story behind them. But they they're just they're so good. I mean, it's. God, I've, I've been dreaming of a set of these two for so long. Please don't ask me why. I could not tell you other than they're awesome. And, I mean, I even was actually able to play one of them in um, a Zoom production of Muppets Christmas Carol. Um, I was Robert Marley, I think. So much fun playing them. God, do they make toys from those? I would love Marley and Marley. Oh my god, that would be amazing. I'll set you off. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm cool. I'm cool. But if they do, we need to find them. Obviously, yeah. If anyone knows anything, sound off below, please. But yeah, the, these are just so cool. I mean, the box itself, it, I mean, it's a pretty basic thing. Um, They don't really come with anything other than the chairs and this. But that's pretty big. <laughs> that, and it's them. That's all you need. This thing is enormous, too. I mean, this, yeah, this is a beautiful set. This is easily, like, I, I want to say it's the best, but, like, this whole wave is really strong. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if it's the best or not, but it's... It's like it's like a, looking at a nine point five versus a ten. Kind yeah, of difference. exactly. Yeah. It's definitely the most um, visually demanding. Like this it, is the centerpiece. Yeah, this is the one that grabs your attention first. But we do have one other one to look at, and as much as I love these guys, I think I think that it's we saved the best for last. I think so too. At least in terms of accessories. Oh my goodness! Yes, God, this one. Oh, man. So, Swedish Chef right here, man. So, I think, if I recall, he might have been a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive originally. I honestly don't know about that. I, I could think see that. he was. There's his chicken. I think he was an exclusive. And, you know, anybody out there who knows the Muppet Toys can correct me whether it was or wasn't. I remember actually wanting this one in particular because of the number of accessories Swedish Chef has. And it's... I don't remember the exact number, but it's definitely over 20 pieces this guy comes with. It's absurd how much he has. I'm trying to figure out the best way to bring this stuff out. So I'm going to start with the really easy one. He comes with an extra set of hands. I believe this hand, these hands are to hold his pots. And also, did anyone know that the Swedish chef was married? Because he, he, he's he got a ring on both fingers. You know, on bo both hands. Yeah. He comes with a ring. I'm just going to put the, them over here. Okay, so let's start off with... His pots. Got a variety of pots. I think I'm chicken's gonna, move gonna have to come off the side. Yeah. It's coming over here. Oh boy. It's gonna get crowded. This is gonna get very crowded. So he has this variety of pots. He has um a nice variety of pans. Is that a paella pan? I, it might be. Is it a paella? I, I don't know, but he's got all these little pans. And yeah. then Julia Child would be so jealous. <laughs> You're telling me. He's got his tennis racket. So he can chase around the vegetables and need to get whacked. Um, I will say this. This is the one place where we did have a little bit of um, a paint issue. The, because there's so many accessories, they're taped down in a row. Be very careful how you're removing the tape because a little bit of the paint came off of her, this. Her. And that, that made me very sad because this was so perfect. Okay, next we have our salt or pepper shaker, whichever one you want. We have a rolling pin because you cannot be the Swedish chef without a rolling pin. We have... Is this a griddle? Uh, this appears to be a flat griddle pan, yeah. Yeah, okay. Put that, uh, I guess, on the floor, too. We have his mallet, and then we're getting into the really, we're getting into the really fun, fun stuff. Ladle and soup spoon. We're just going to start dropping them in here. <laughs> Two different kinds of spatulas. And let's see. Oh, for this salad bowl, salad fork and spoon. My personal favorite, the cleaver. Of course. Ah. <laughs> Luckily, it's not sharp. Well, no. actually, a little sharp. <laughs> it is. And finally, because you cannot be a Swedish chef without food, he comes with some bread-like substance. <laughs> Good old bread-like substance. Comes with a carrot with like a really cute face. It is very cute. It's a really cute face, and then it comes with an uh, a crying onion and a confused apple. Yeah, that's wow. That's adorable. Yep. Into the pot they go. And of course the chicken. Yeah, well we talked about the chicken. I just wanted to make some and the spare hands on the spare just... hands. Yeah, so this is a <laughs> lot of accessories, and uh, yeah, I'm excited about these because as we saw last time, they're in scale with other toys. Mm -hmm. They're in this kind of halfway scale between I'd say like you know here's the five inch shirt I just pulled randomly. Uh, not maybe the best one, but you know they're definitely <laughs> you can see they are matching scale with the five inch yeah. toys. It gets a perfect scale, but in terms of like let's say a six inch figure, you know again these guys tower over them, but. 
the accessories are in fact a perfect size. Because we really want to see um, Steve Austin surf paella. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it so it's much. It's a perfect size. Like it, it really, really is. is. Like this is. Uh, come here, carrot. There we go. <laughs> I love these. These accessories are outstanding. I mean. Yeah, I, that's why I wanted to get this originally was because of the accessories, and uh, they did not disappoint. I love Absolutely. all the pots, all the pans, the food, the Marianne Esposito wig over here for <laughs> Chow Italia. Uh, all my PBS food nerds will know that reference. And these are just gorgeous figures. Uh, I mean, really, they are. Yeah, of course, they're collectibles. I would never let a kid play with these. As, no. mu as much as I would like to, I would never let a kid play with these. But they're just, they're just gorgeous. Yeah, everything about them is great. Wonderful detail. Great paint job, clean paint job for the most part, too. Yeah. You know, the accessories are where it's at, because the toys themselves are so small, but luckily they're all two-packs. They have all the important elements that they need yeah. to make these, like, essentially, you know, the perfect Muppet toys. Yeah, I mean, you can easily do a Muppet show with this. This this is this is the Muppet show between Series 1 and Series 2, and I don't know how many other Best of Series they're going to make. But... I don't know. This is what they've got right now. Series 2 just came out. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what the future is for the Best of the Muppet Series, but I'm sure there will probably be a, at least a few more of these. because These are incredible. Yeah, they're really great. These are just outstanding figures, outstanding pieces. Must own some Muppet fans. Yes. And just so you know, since the Muppet show is now streaming on Disney+, Plus. For those of you who have it, how great would it be to, you know, watch the Muppet Show while also dealing with your collectibles? Just saying. Some meta stuff right there. <laughs> you could recreate all the greatest scenes. So if you'd like to get any of these Muppet figures for yourselves, go ahead and check out the description in this video here. You'll see links to all of these guys and different ways you can buy them. So please consider picking them up because, yeah, they're totally worth it. And, you know, there's a reason why they're best of and why they're being released because they're really so hot, popular fun. figures. And uh, I can see these again be selling out just as fast. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Friggin' lootly, because these are just too good. So that's our look at the Best of Muppets Series 2 from Diamond Select Toys. Chef's Kiss. That's how good they are. Yeah, exactly. So I'm Matthew. I'm Andrea. We'll see you guys here next time for some more action figure reviews and everything else that we do here on Nerd News Today. On the Muppet Show. I feel like this is the part where Statler and Waldorf just insult us as we fade out. Yeah. <laughs> We should actually just do that. <laughs> so let's get them out of here and have them. We'll, we'll do insults. I don't know insults. I'm bad at insults. Well, I don't know. And now to say goodbye. Yes. Waldorf and Statler would like to say. What are you doing buying toys? Or watching toy reviews? Shard of us prime. More like I sharded all over myself watching these videos. <laughs> Pixel Dan, pick something else. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd news today? How about nerd news never? <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's get out of here. Yeah.